Welcome back to Get Your Man On. If you have a question for us, need to get something off your chest, leave a secret confession, have a dirty secret for the world to hear, go to getyourmanon.com, give it to us. We're going to talk about it. It is answer time for all these questions from Voicemail Anonymous. I got one from Matt in Mobile, and Matt is asking why testosterone is so low in men these days. So testosterone in men is on the decrease big time. Testosterone of guys who are 20, same age, same testosterone of men who were 70, 20 years ago. And it is on a dramatic decline. It is crazy to see the difference in patients that I see now with low testosterone versus patients back in the day who had normal testosterone. Just about every guy that walks in the door has low testosterone. It's pretty wild. And I believe it's because of a variety of factors. Age obviously is the number one factor. Your testosterone is going to decline about 1% a year starting at age 30. Our sedentary lifestyles, we aren't out there working with our hands. We aren't doing as much as we used to. Even guys that are out there all day working with their hands, a lot of times diet, lifestyle choices make their testosterone go down anyways. So there's a combination of factors, but sedentary, sitting in front of a computer all day, gonna just more likely to have low testosterone because your body is saying, I don't need it. You're just sitting there all day. And diet, you know, what was about 20, 30 years ago, the introduction of Cheerios, <laughs> processed foods, sugary foods, all this stuff that is not, you know, coming from the ground, but kind of made into, you know, cute little Lucky Charms packaging. Everything that my kids want. It's got so much sugar, so much junk in it. That is going to kill testosterone production. The prevalence of marijuana. Weed is a testosterone killer. It's legal in a lot of places now. Even the Delta-8 versions, the, the other THC versions, cause decrease in testosterone. Lots of things that are causing a male decline of testosterone. Easy to replace. You get a blood test, see a medical provider. It's really important. I 100% believe that you need to see a medical provider in person, face-to-face. -face. It's a controlled substance. I wouldn't recommend going online and doing it that way. Go get the test. Go talk talk about it with a medical provider. Go to getyourmanon.com to see a clinic near you where you can get your testosterone tested. Get that done. Testosterone can be replaced with an injection, weekly injection, maybe every four days injection. It can be replaced by creams, gels. There are um, also pellets you can have inserted into your hip. Bunch of different ways you can do it. As we were talking, my producer, Danny, had some questions that he wanted to to ask. So, uh, Danny, welcome on. You've been sitting across from us here and mess, you know, messing with with the the volume and all that stuff. Doing a great job. Uh, you got a question? Hey, thanks, Bud. First of all, <laughs> uh, looking great today. Thanks so much. I really want to say <laughs> thanks for taking my call. I don't get that opportunity because I have an actual mic. Yeah. So, okay. Well, I was listening to the last segment. And I could, you were talking about this guy that came in to, to one of your clinics and he was like overly skinny, like noticeably differently skinny for a guy. And I couldn't help but think of my friend. She's a girl. Uh, I'm married, not to her. So she's not my girlfriend, but she's a friend that's a girl. And she's like super skinny. And when we first met, you know, my first thought was like, somebody feed that girl, you know, but I, I met her two sons and they clearly got sort of got handed down their body image their their style their build from their mother they're super super skinny for high school boys and you know so i, I kind of went okay there's a genetic thing here and as you were talking about this guy and his problem was testosterone man i couldn't help but think what about testosterone for kids like how early can you give testosterone supplements to kids and you know, eventually can they get off? Uh, I don't know. What are your thoughts there? Yeah, first of all, I want to I make it clear. There is no judgment on body size on this show. We are going to celebrate all body sizes. And if you're happy and you're healthy, that's great. We're going we're gonna to be, be with you on that 100%. Truth is, is that, you know, obesity does cause a lot of different 
negative things in the body. And so we have to be honest about that fact while also not trying to shame anyone. Uh, and then you go to the other side when someone is, you know, thinner than maybe average. Um, you know, at that age, first of all, going to recommend they go see their pediatrician, right? Um, that's, a, that's a big deal. For the most part, you don't want to intervene too much in a male as he's developing through puberty, right? You don't want to introduce testosterone into uh, a prepubescent or pubescent uh, male unless you have to. And that would be a, the choice between the pediatrician. But, you know, when you when you introduce external testosterone into the body, your your body says, oh, I don't need to make as much. Or I don't need, you know, whatever. So it's going to shut down. So you want to just kind of, you know, in my opinion, you want to let that play out. See how maybe they can change their diet. They can eat more protein, right? They can just eat a ton more, get in the gym, work that out. They're going to, their, their bodies will change. You eat more and you work out. There's a calorie thing, a calorie factor. You work with nutritionists, work with the, uh, fitness specialist, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna see changes, maybe not super dramatic, but the biggest question is, are the boys healthy and happy, right? Like, are they, are they fine with where they are? If, if they're fine, don't do anything. If they need more, you know. So physics alone, I mean, they're just going to get bigger. Yeah. They're, okay. Yeah, I mean, calories and, and lifting, you're going to get And bigger. to be clear, they don't need to be taking testosterone supplements. I, I couldn't recommend it, no. Okay. Unless they're pediatrician recommended. We're going to defer to the pediatrician every time. Okay. And then quick follow-up question. What about how old can you be? Can we take this into the nursing homes of America? <laughs> it's funny. I used to, back when I was like 15 years old, I did a bunch of nursing home training. When I was in high school, we did a nursing class. And so there was always people in nursing homes trying to hook up with each other. Usually if you're in a nursing home, you're not healthy enough to, you know, not only have sex, but also there's, there's mental factors like dementia, Alzheimer's and stuff like that that goes into it. So I'm not going to, you know, not going to send over a bus to the nursing home to bring patients in. Um, well, that's too bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, OK, I want to hear from you. Go to getyourmanon.com. Send your dirty little secrets, the confessions we want to hear. And we're going to play them next time. And I can't wait to introduce you to our special guest. Be the best man you can be. I want you to rock out this weekend. Rock out next week take your life to the next level, figure out how to elevate your life. Great talking with you. Can't wait to hear more from you guys. We're going to take questions. Ladies too, if you got the questions, chime in. Let's go. This is Get Your Man On. I am Evan Bass. Goodbye.